folks, this is your host Seishu from uh, Tiffincast, and today I'm continuing my chat with Mahesh and students from the One School in Goa. Um, welcome, friends. Thanks for joining me today. Uh, if you don't mind introducing yourselves very quickly and telling me who you are and where you're from in India, that would be wonderful. So go for it. Hi, I'm Abhinav Kumar uh, Gurya, and I'm from Delhi. And uh, I am uh, I'm a fine art food portrait photographer uh, from the school, and uh, I, I do a lot of work from uh, you know, in that section area of photography. Uh, I'm Sadan Shire. I'm a student. I'm from Goa now. I've moved, and uh, I'm also interested in fine art photography and uh, fine art photography in all aspects of photography, so portraiture, interior and architecture, fashion, things like that. Okay. Hi, I'm Anu. Uh, I'm from Goa. Uh, I, uh, I like to do landscapes. Uh, it's my personal preference and commercial work, fashion and glamour, interior architecture. Okay, excellent. Very cool. And the ladies? I'm Shilda. I'm from Delhi. And I'm interested in fashion and travel photography and okay. social travel. Okay. Okay. Hi, I'm Janavi from Pune. Okay. And uh, I'm interested in uh, fine art, abstract, and that stream, and also social documentary. Okay. So the the question for you, and I'll, I will talk to uh, your your guru there, Shantanu, in a little bit. I know he's off camera right now, but. Um, Okay. <laughs> I know, I know, I know you're, I know you're, <laughs> I know you're there. Uh, what is, what, what, what really motivates you all to go to school for photography? Yeah. What, what motivates you guys? Yeah. yeah. Uh, and feel free to come up. Feel free to come up to the mic as much as possible. So. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, what motivates me uh, to you know to study photography and to go to school to study photography is uh, the the very you know significance of imagery that we have seen through history, like what images do to a person and what images communicate. It's I think it's it's a form of interpretation and communication. And that's what motivates me. Like it's it's my own you know, artistic interpretation towards a certain a certain subject, whatever subject I choose. So it's it's what I want to communicate to the world. And that's what motivates me to learn and to perfect that skill of communication. Okay. Okay. Janavi, what what about your your thoughts on this? Um to go to photography school in Goa, I think it's fantastic because it's um, it's totally different from all the other cities around India. So, I mean, there's greenery, there's it's, it's a very peaceful environment, and of course, the culture and heritage, everything comes through to whatever you shoot. So that's what I really like about photography school in Goa. Okay. Okay. And you, gentlemen, if feel free to jump in as 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 and when you feel like it. So don't, don't, yeah. be, don't be shy. Uh, for me, it's more the idea of uh, creating new things. Uh, it's just the creation of anything, ideas, thoughts, and it's me creating something and then someone else interpreting it and creating something of their own from my work. So it's the creation of, uh, you know, the, the chain of creation, you could call it. Okay. And uh, again, as Abhinav said, you know, communication, things like that, getting uh, my point of view across, uh, and also the idea of uh, truth and how far you can stretch the truth or manipulate the truth through your images and how that's different from someone else. And it's just the different ideas and views that people have come through, they come from their photographs. Okay. That's what brings me here, seeing the difference. Okay. And as far as the, the ladies were the only ones who said they wanted to do social documentary. Um, I, I, interestingly, there's lots going on. 
in India with photojournalism and social documentaries and women especially and, and pursuing uh, photojournalism as a woman. Um, what is your take on that particular subject? Where do you find yourselves? Have you, have you guys thought about it at all? I think I mean I don't think it's a thing about women in film, social documentary, but I do think it could get harder in certain circumstances where you have to travel and things like that. But I like that. That's a challenge that is um, a good thing. That's that's why we're drawn towards it. And also, if you're interested in something and you're passionate about it, you should just go for it. I never thought about it because I'm a woman. Okay. I'm no, for sure, for sure, right? Have all of you uh, finished? high school and then college and then decided to go into photography or have you all just are you all recently from high school college where are you guys i have completed grad i have done uh, um, you know bachelor's in science and business administration oh wow so i completed a grad uh, and then came uh, here to the school okay and studied photography so uh, after doing that course, I finally took that decision of changing my, you know, field of uh, work to from commerce to uh, the art side. Okay. So uh, that was a change that I had. So just uh, for me, I did the IB until the twelfth grade, and I took a gap year after that to sort of find what I want to do, mm -hmm. and. Uh, in the ID, I had done uh, fine art in my last two years, my diploma years, and I had chosen photography as my art form. So that kind of progressed into me joining school and uh, coming into it. Yeah, I haven't done anything in between that. So, yeah. Excellent. Okay. Straight, yeah, I've come straight out of high school into photography. It's always been, uh, you know, it, looked, it used to be my hobby. and. Uh, I wanted to perfect it and you know, there's always something happening new in this world and uh, our gurus always keep giving us new ideas and you know, it helps us think better, mm -hmm. shoot better. Mm -hmm. and, you know, uh, I mean, there's so much change and uh, we all want to be a part of that change. And so straight out of high school and I've always had a technical side to it, you know, I've, I love technology. Right. So that's the reason uh, I got into cameras and from there into this. Okay. Okay. I did the IB as well, and then I tried liberal arts for about a year, and I was always more interested in the visual aspects things. So Excellent. I decided to switch to the decision. Okay. Okay. So, I had a year of animation after my twelfth grade, and then I came to photography school because okay. it's always passion, and um, I mean, this is a wonderful opportunity to turn into a career. Sure. So. Let's let's talk a little bit about. Um, why you chose to go to come to Goa? I mean, I love the idea of coming to Goa because of the, the scenery, and I, I saw pictures of your swimming pool. So I know it's fun to be there. Uh, but above all that, and, and and don't be alarmed by the fact that your teachers are right there in the room with you. But honestly, tell me what it is. What is it about the one school in Goa that that you saw it and you said, "Gotta go. I have to be there." I think it's just the fact that it's in Goa. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I mean, Goa has its own, uh, you know, attractions, and like it's it's just not like me noticing it. It's the world that was noticed it, and over the years, many people from all over the country, from all over the world, mm -hmm. they have turned up like in Goa at some point of time. So they have like I think Goa has that connections like yeah, like with everyone, with every individual. So that's what attracts us. And we have all visited Goa beforehand, so we, we knew what, what Goa was all about. It's just not the greenery, it's just not the laid back, susikar, agile approach to, to things in life. And it's, it's just not the, you know, the beaches and everything. It's just how it connects to you, how all this connects to you. And that's what we that, it, it almost sounds as if that I may have to come to visit. Yeah, I mean, sure. <laughs> Cause I, I mean, I, I hear what you're saying about the, yeah. the place. Um, yeah. And I think it's, I, I really think it's something to be experienced for yourself before, you know, you, I can say, okay, I got to show up. 
But for those of you who are considering the one school who are, who can't come to Goa for whatever reason, what would what would be the one school? What would be the attractive feature at the one school that says, "Gotta go." I mean, it's the the faculty and you know the way the way of teaching. It's much more modern than the regular schools or colleges you go to in India. Tell me, tell me a little bit more about that. What is it? What is it? What is different about it? We've got the right amount of freedom to do, you know, to experiment without photography. You know, it's just the right amount, not too too much, not too less. Uh, because what happens is in most of the colleges in India, you have so many rules to follow and so many things to do other than the main purpose you're there for. Like a photography school having a written exam throughout the year five times doesn't make sense. See something, things like that. So it's 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 more practical oriented. So that's how. And plus, I mean, Goa has always been a hub for art. There's good music that comes out from Goa. Psychedelic dance is made in Goa, developed in Goa. So you know, Goa has got a lot of art culture. Okay. Although it's not commercialized that much, but uh, we'd love to make it a art village. And the school is, uh, is it's it's. I mean, we got the right faculty and. The whole atmosphere of the school, the place itself, when you visit the place, you feel you're at peace and you know, you feel you, you feel that you know this is the right yeah, motivation, you don't have motivation here yeah, and it's the right place to get creative, you know. Excellent. Excellent. Um, if I can turn the camera back to Shantanu, I'd love to chat with him for a little bit. I'd like yeah. to thank you all for, for taking part. So I appreciate you being here with us. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Uh, Shantan, thanks for joining me today. I appreciate the time. I know uh, you've, you've got a very busy day. Um, usually with, with running a school is no easy matter. So thanks for, thanks for being here with me. Um, I, think, I think one of the questions I had for Mahesh, um, and uh, he'd sort of indicated to me that it would be probably best to talk to the students, and I'm so glad they did um, talk a little bit about what makes it? What makes your school different? I mean, I, you know, there there are dime a dozen photo schools, dime a dozen workshops in India. I've I've just no, I just came back from a trip in India. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't make it to go to Goa, but there there's the sense that photography is on the is on the on the cusp of just exploding in India if it hasn't already, and and people are aching to learn photography, but not. Really going through the right steps, which I, which I'm assuming is what you teach your students in terms of foundation and things like that. It's not about just the camera and the gear, but also the vision, right? That's right. So uh, it's like this, uh, Sheshu. Uh, look, I always tell students there are there are 10 million photographers in India right now because everyone with a uh, camera phone is a photographer. Right. And so how do you differentiate yourself from being a snap shooter to become a, a little bit more of a visionary? Yes. And that's where photography is heading towards. It cannot be just snap shooting. Mm -hmm. It's not documenting the day or fashion or whatever it is. You know, you need to now start being creative and create. So that's where we set it up saying, okay, I mean, we, we've studied both Nanesh and I and Dinesh, we've all studied what's happening around the world. What are those uh, colleges providing yeah, mm -hmm. in the photography schools? And then we came up with our own program because we thought India is in a unique situation. And uh, that is the reason, uh, unique situation in the sense it's in a growth mode. You see what's happening and arts coming out. Um, you know, in Asia, uh, China and India are the big forces, the next forces. And I strongly believe that the creative uh, media will belong to India because we have Hollywood and we have all the other things, we have so many stories to tell. So, I said we need to tell them in the right way. Now, mm -hmm. photography is a starting point for us. But what we are saying is a visual communication through good vision. It's not just technical skills, mm -hmm. but you got to be a little more, you know, bringing the intellect to take the pictures and create the images and all that. Sure. And then use this uh, to step away, like well, one of the students, uh, I know Anguria and Sid, they wanted to, uh, they want to get into uh, uh, movie making. Mm -hmm. And I said to them when they came to me, I said, best thing, get yourself owned into photography and then move on. So, well, that's what really prompted us 
to get going. And we've been uh, we've been seeing what's happening. There's no proper training in India for photography. And when I, I thought this is a great opportunity to grab because you know, as I said earlier, that uh, all these uh, camera phones are shooting pictures. Everyone's shooting pictures. Everyone wants to be photographers. The engineers are coming here, quitting jobs. Bankers want to come. Medical professionals. We are going to run special workshops for dentists in India. The dental, uh, uh, you know, community mm -hmm. wants uh, mm -hmm. workshops in photography. Sure. So sure. Uh, the explanation, and if you say, what is the explanation? Why this all of a sudden is interested in photography? Because it, it's just being made so much more easier and uh, accessible now to everyone. You know, in our days, film rolls, processing, getting the right exposure, and all this. Today, you don't need all that. Technical part is taken care of by the equipment, so it's the vision, the mind. Right. Let me ask you this, um, uh, and I wanted to ask the students this, but I didn't want to put them on uh, on a, in a rough spot. Um, most of them have gone through some school, obviously, and then jumped to the one school. How have their families accepted their new role, I guess, or their new newfound passion for photography? Okay, that's a very good question because you know we've been answering this quite a lot. Um, I think parents all of a sudden have woken up to the real, uh, realization that they must let their kids do what they are interested in. And the lot that we have here, the 24 kids in this first year, are all parents which are enlightened and they are a little more informed about what the future lies for this kind of a thing. For example, I mean. Some people who asked us a question, what is the future for this kid who attends this school? Well, I counter question them, what is the future of an engineer? What is the future of a doctor? Do you mean because he's going to be an engineer, he's going to get a job? Never. Right now, there's a major, major problem with employment for engineering. At least this is an entrepreneurial kind of a setup. And what we're trying to tell students is, you be artists, you be photographers, you be filmmakers, you be storytellers with visuals. So, these parents are pretty enlightened um, and uh, I'll give you one uh, current example of what happened last week. There's a, a, a girl who was studying in another photography college which uh, we had set up uh, about a year ago, Mahesh and I, and we, we, we got out of it because they didn't follow the pattern or the curriculum that we had set up. And they started going the technical skills way, which is what we were against because technical skills can be achieved by most people today, but the creative talent cannot be. It, right. It's a matter of honing your talent in that area. So what happens to this girl? She couldn't come at that point uh, when we opened the school because her parents were going through some kind of a turmoil where it was, uh, you know, just agony with the family or whatever it was. But it's been two months since we opened. She was, she paid her own fee back in the other college. Her father calls up and says, can she come and join you? I said, but you wasted money right now. He says, well, I'm willing to write it out, but she wants to be in your college. I said, why? So I asked this girl, why? And she said, look, I'm really getting fed up in this other school that she's in. She said, they're just going for the first two months. They just technical Photoshop, shoot the picture, meet right now. That is not photography. And that is why she moved here. And the parents supported her. So I, I, I asked them to come over to talk to me. I said, before we take her in, we must know why you're doing this. Because our fee is a little higher and we cannot give you any concessions because you've got to pay your fee there. That, that was your, uh, you know, folly mm -hmm. in the first place. We had in mind this girl in the beginning because she is a good student and I felt bad that a good student is being left behind for the wrong reasons. Mm -hmm. But it dawned upon them pretty quickly. And when I asked the father and the mother who had come here, I said, How, what was this change of mind? He said, look, this girl is miserable there. In the last two days that she's been in her college, she's smiling and she's bright and up and she's doing good work. Now, that is exactly what why we set up. We want, we want a lot of creative freedom and we want, you know, that's how we've grown up. I mean, the reason why we are here, I mean, where I am is because I have the creative freedom in creating a lot of good campaigns. I had a great time in life. Mm -hmm. And I said, it's time to pass it on. Sure. Yeah. What what is what is uh, the, the school's goals in terms of the future? I know Mahesh talked about moving into film. Uh, you talked a little bit about visual yeah. communication. Um, yes. So expanding beyond photography, the still image, you're going into film. You're going into. Uh, are you going to start doing things like broadcast journalism kind of work, or is it more really geared towards the art 
and leaving it, leaving it at that. No, more towards the arts. We're going to leave out broadcast journalism because right now um, we don't, uh, you know, there's too much on our platter right now. And uh, where we would take it is uh, probably, uh, I mean, not probably, we are most certainly we'll be opening a um, liberal arts school very soon, which will be which will be more in tune with the visual communication side, but not the broadcast uh, thing because, you know, we're going in round in circles right now. It's a bit political, that whole scenario. So we want to stay away from it. And uh, we want to stay with the arts and we want to create Goa and the um, school as a hub for excellence in art and photography. And art galleries and other things, you know, they're coming up, they're coming up. The art gallery uh, and make, make Goa as a big um, art, photography art trading center for the East at least, you know. That's, a, that's very interesting. I mean, it sounds like uh, the students are echoing that sentiment as well, uh, that, you know, people love Goa for... For, for Goa's sake, I mean, in the sense, Goa has this sense of culture and uh, camaraderie and, and, and uh, you know, collaboration perhaps even that is missing in much, much of the rest of the country. Uh, yeah. And I was, I was asking Mahesh this as well. So why Goa and why not, you know, Pondicherry or, uh, you know, some other place in India that, that has uh, sort of a, uh, you know, an easygoing vibe to it and, and you can still... Well, Goa yeah. still, yeah, Go, Goa still uh, gives you the feel of Bohemia, you know, and uh, I, I call it uh, a little bit uh, sophisticated Bohemia. That's all I kind of <laughs> add to it because I, I, I think, you know, uh, Goa otherwise had the, um, um, you know, bad end of the stick by saying drugs and booze and all. I mean, drugs and booze are all over the place. I mean, Pune has an equal share. There's a major problem and all over the country, Delhi, Bombay. Lot more because bigger population. So mm -hmm. the figures are staggering as far as all this is concerned, and all over the world. You go to the Far East. Sure. We don't have a capital punishment, but that's okay. Now coming back to Goa, Goa, you know, funny and interestingly, um, I don't know whether it's deja vu or what it is karma, but in our area where our school is, and if you take a radius of about five kilometers, leading fashion uh, designers, leading uh, other photographers, colleagues. Artists, writers have all started settling in around this area. I don't know why we became a hub here. I don't know why I found this place. I, I really have no answer. I used to drive past the gate over here while this place was under construction. I would stop and tell my son, you know, this is the kind of place I need. And it just happened. Lovely. Two, two weeks later, it fell on our laps and I just shook hands without any uh, kind of uh, argument of that. Excellent. And I think, I think it's worked very well because uh, the creative force, and you know, funny thing, the other thing I should do is that when we invited people to Pune, when Mahesh and I were running that other school, they were reluctant to come from the, all over the world or from India. They said, Pune, uh, I, I, I thought it was a nice city, but you know, I didn't have to call anyone. They have started calling in the moment they heard. I'm in Goa, this is open in Goa, the works for Goa, people have started offering, we have some very, very high level in, um, you know, American uh, photographers coming in here. We have, uh, you know, in the first week of opening, we had an Australian photographer visit us and take a, a two, three day class. And all over India, all the uh, leading photographers, our colleagues, our competitors, they were all wanting to come and teach something or the other. So we, we are in a great place and Goa, if, if that's what Goa has done, you know, put everyone together. Sure. It's superb. It's superb. Excellent. It sounds uh, incredibly uh, inviting. It sounds incredibly exciting. Um, and I'm looking forward to one day coming there and whether it's just to hang out or to teach a class, I'd love to, I'd love to be a part of it. Um, Mahesh, I know you've been sitting quietly in the background. Thank you so much for the introduction. It was wonderful to meet Shantanu and, and the students. Um, I appreciate the time, you guys. I know, you know, it's a very late, probably a, in India right now. Um, I, I will, I will leave it at that. So, again, thanks for your time. Thanks, Shishu. Uh, yep, anytime, and we must say, must come over. Will do. Thank you. Bye bye. Thanks. Bye.